Good morning everyone, happy Monday and welcome to Hunky Dory TV. Um, it's Monday so it's the craft show um, and we've got some fun Cyber Monday deals to show you this morning but before we get into that let's um, see who is joining me today on the show. So we've got Emily producing so nothing's going to go wrong today people. <laughs> Put pressure on there. Yeah. <laughs> and then over in the demonstration station we have Sheila. Hello. Hi, Hi Sheila. Hello. Sheila um, was rushed in this morning. <laughs> I was actually just got out of the shower, just drying my hair. And I was texting Sheila. But Rachel's oh. ill. Please can you please will you be able to cover this morning? She was like, Of course, I'll do it. What do you want me to do? What do I need to print out? It'll be fine. <laughs> um, so we have um, we've been we've We've been doing quite a bit actually since we yeah, got in to make frantic. sure that we were all ready for today's show. But <laughs> it's going to go smoothly, I'm sure. Um, did you see your Bear Hugs cards featured on our blog? Um, if you haven't already, or if you want to check it out um, for some inspiration, if you head over to our blog, Ashley has done a fantastic um, piece on our Bear Hugs free gift. And there's some um, really good examples of your work on there, um, possibly yours, maybe your friends. But go have a look, check it out, and see what is on there. Um, and then um, let us know on the comments, let us know what you did this weekend. What, what did you do? What were you up to? Um, what did you get in the Black Friday deals? Did you buy anything really early in the month that's just come and you were crafting this weekend? Um, let us know what you were up to because we would love to, love to um, read them out, see what you were all up to, mainly because we're nosy. Um, <laughs> what were you up to, Shields? Um, did you do some crafting? Do you know, I didn't. I did some knitting because I've been joining in with the Macmillan um, oh, mystery yeah, knit along, which is not really that mysterious now because we know it's going to be a hat, but it's actually using four colours. So there are a lot of people on there who've never done any colour work before. Um, I I've done quite do a that. lot. You would, it's on, you would, honestly. Some people begin, some beginner knitters that have joined in with it. Um, but, so I've done a bit of knitting. Um, it's a bit difficult, I was just telling you, because we have some kittens mm. at home and every time the needles come out in the wool, they are just having a field day, they're getting in, getting knotted and I'm like, you can have the needles, but not the yarn, yeah. not the yarn, the yarn is expensive. So, yeah, so I've done a bit of knitting, I've done a bit of sorting, um, I've done a little bit of like furniture sorting Manoeuvring. upstairs, yeah, just so I'm starting to sort my wool and put it on shelves, so it's oh, not been... you have a little shop. Yeah, it's, uh, I have a, a tiny little bedroom up there that just... Is crying out to be like almost like a, a little have stock a cupboard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so there's sewing machines in there and stuff. So yeah, just doing a bit of sorting really. Did you put your Christmas tree up? Not yet, no. No, um, I'm the same. I, I'm fearful because we've got these kittens and I'm fearful that they're going to run yeah. up it and pull it down. Yeah. However, I did put two, get two small artificial ones because I had this idea of doing two or three mm -hmm. um, uh, with decorations on at different heights. Uh, but they haven't been near those. Those are artificial and I always get a real tree. So I'm going to go and get a real tree at the weekend probably. Oh, um, and so, test it. Yeah, so that's as far as I've got we'll this weekend. We'll see, we'll see. What did you do? You, you said you went walking? Yeah, did we you? went walking yesterday. Oh. I'm really, I really can't walk today actually. <laughs> um, we got, Saturday we were super lazy. We just stayed in our pyjamas and played Monopoly because nice. we started this Monopoly on Wednesday. Right, oh. okay. Wednesday, people. <laughs> um, but I officially won on Saturday at All around right. two o'clock. It was, it was a good achievement. Well yeah, done. Made him well bankrupt. <laughs> <laughs> and then Saturday, yeah, we went walking, so we were out all day actually. We set off at 10 in the morning and then we went like all the way around the valley. We did yeah. 11 miles when we got home. Really? 11 that's a, miles. That's a big walk. That's so, yeah, goodness, I, I have a very sore hip this morning oh, and no. I'm walking a bit like Captain Hook with <laughs> a peg leg. Um, <laughs> but it's all right, it's okay. Um, so, <laughs> let's have a look at what is coming up on today's show. Um, oh, we've also, we'll talk about that later. Um, so first of all, we have our Win It Weekly competition. Um, so this week, you could be in with a chance of winning our Just A Note collection. Um, there's gonna be five winners this week. I love it when there's so many. Um, five winners for this fantastic prize. Always announced on Friday's show, but let's have a look what competition question it is. Okay, so this week, you hold the key to my A, house, B, car, or C, heart. So you need to like, oh. share, and comment with what you think. Is this a lyric? It's, it's actually inspired by the Just a Note. Ah, it's okay. from one of the sentiments that are in this book. Ah, okay. Oh, this is clever. Mm. It's a bit of a daft 
This is clever. Okay, so inspired by the collection you, you can win, um, you have to like, share and comment this video um, and then comment with the answer of you hold the key to my. So what is that? Is it house? Is it car? Is it heart? I don't think I'd let ever, anyone have the key to my house because then they can just go in and see how messy it is. Oh, I'm sure it's not. I'm sure B, it's not. my car, exactly the same. It's so messy at the moment. C, mm, possibly. It depends, doesn't it, I guess. You know, you... you it could be any of those. If you were a cleaner, then oh, yeah, you've got you would have the key. key. Yeah, I would say Very to my true. cleaner or my, you know, person that comes in to, to do my housework while I'm working, you hold the key to my house. My garage, <laughs> garage mechanic, well, he very often has the key to my car. Um, I would hope that my partner has the key to my heart, but who knows? Mm, who knows? Who knows? This crazy but yeah, world it could apply living. to lots of different um, people in your life, couldn't it? It really does. Tell, tell it us depends. who holds the key to your house, car and heart. <laughs> Let us know. Let us know. So you could be winning that Just a Note collection and it's absolutely fantastic. And some great things in there. It's a good one for um, throughout the year as well. There's loads of different cards you can be making on there. Um, I'll just say this before we move on because I'll probably not remember or come back to this card. Um, but we are coming up, we're going to be doing some Christmas challenges. So we're going to do a show um, where we all have some Christmas challenges um, to do. So what mm. do you want to see us doing? I mean, there's not much that we won't do. I'm going to put it out there. Um, Thanks. So write it down, <laughs> whatever you feel that would be a great thing for us to do a challenge on. Um, we're going to have a scoreboard, we're going to do, um, yeah. we're going to see who's at the top of that by the hour. Um, but yeah, we're going to do a Christmas challenges show. So that's coming up, so make sure you keep an eye out for it. But um, yeah, let us know what you want us to do. That is, that is actually crafting challenges, isn't it? It's oh, not yeah, sport. Yeah, so please no. don't ask us to do, you know, uh, cartwheels along the, the counter here. I mean, or... we try, but... I think you'd probably hit your head. I'm definitely yeah. far too tall to be doing cartwheels oh, I'm too on old. Counter. I'm too old. I couldn't do it when I was young, so... But we'll try. Um, um, yeah. So, <laughs> let's have a look at what is coming up on today's show because, as we said, it's Cyber Monday, which means uh, we have some great deals across some of our um, more um, computer-styled things. Mm. Um, so, we have a great, great deal on our Hunky Dory at Home collections. So, we're going to run through each key. You're going to see what you can get. Um, but these are all, are they all 50% off? Or is three it? Of them are. Oh, so we've got That's three that much. are. What? Oh. So 50, yeah. up to 50, up to 50%, but we, we're more than 50% on some of them. So we'll go, let's go through each one of them. So first we have Hunky Dory at Home. This is key one, so this is the first one that we did. Um, these are really, really useful. So if we open them up and see what we get in here. You've got your key, um, which you can see here. The good thing about these keys is that they're all different colours. So even if you get rid of the box, you, they're all different. So you should be able to keep tabs on which is which. So you've got your key on there, which you can just put into your computer, your laptop. You're going to be able to download some of this stuff um, and print it out on some of our um, coordinating papers that we've got. And each one also has a little bit of a gift. So this one, this is quite cool actually. Let's take it out of the bag. Can I take it out the bag? Okay. I'm just trying to find where you open it. <laughs> um, here we go. So this has a cute little key ring on here that you can keep with that etched hunky dory on there. Um, so you know you can keep this on your keys. It's cool. It's really it? cool, isn't it? You can yeah. keep all of your USBs on here, possibly. Mm -hmm. yeah. You do that, don't you, Sheila? You I do that. On there. Yeah, I do. Um, yeah. So. Um, we're just going to have a little quick look because I know Emily's got some um, card models of all the different things you can be making with this USB. It is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a what? Do we need to talk over oh, it? Oh, we need to talk. Oh my gosh. <laughs> This That's hilarious. Terrible. I was looking on the side for the little graphic equaliser and I thought it's not going. It's not so moving. let's speak. Let's, let's okay, speak. let's have a chat. So there's so many different things <laughs> included in this uh, USB. Um, there's things that you can see here. We've got Cupcake Heaven. There is um, for the ladies. So you've got the elegant lady on there. What else have we got, Emily? Like 
only got two cardboard. Oh, I see. oh right, okay. I'll read the back off the back of here then. So we've got classic cameos, spring sensations. We've got dreams of spring, um, which Sheila's going to do a demo with shortly. Um, we've got for the gentlemen, for the girls, for the boys. So you can. See that's just a snippet of all the things and when you get this home and you put it inside your um, computer there is a little contents um, page so you can literally just pop that in and you'll be able to see everything that is included on your USB so if you're very specific and you know what you want or you're trying to find something um, and without having to scroll through absolutely everything you can get that contents up you can put it um, you can have a look, you can jot down what you need and then when you go into the other files you'll be able to bring that up and print out specific things like we did this morning. So the USBs are great because like we always say they're tools, they're going to last forever um, and you have the ability to print out as many times as you want anything from those collections which means that you can if you like one thing you can make it a number of times if you're doing invitations um, and you want a topper specifically you can print that out and make your invitations with that so there are so much uses for these USBs um, Sheila's going to make something from this one um, first so let's head over and see what she's going to do Okay, so um, we, as you've just said, Natalie, we were frantically this morning sticking the we keys were. in the computers, printing out um, onto our special um, printable card and um, topper. It's like topper weight, isn't yeah, it? Topper all weight, different cardstock. weights, which is perfect for yes the different things you want to print out. Definitely. Um, so we were um, obviously printing out. We had our original plan today was uh, Rachel was going to be here but unfortunately she's a little bit poorly today so it was a uh, all hands on deck quick get in the office print things out she's going to grab my glue and um and crack on really so let me just grab in fact I'll open that oh there's one open I was just looking for construction glue but we'll use the one that's in the room so with the USBs what I've done here I'm going to do one um from the um gentleman's section first of all so I thought this was a good one to start off with because I know a lot of you who are familiar with our paper crafting kits where we get the toppers and we get the cardstock um, so we usually have a printed cardstock and a foil cardstock and the difference with the USB obviously the sheets print out but there's no foiling on and they're not die cut because this is what happens when it comes in and goes onto our machine so basically what we've done is put everything onto the USB so that you have the choice of what you print out what you do with it whether you do your own style decoupage there's so much you can do with it um, so what you'll get, you'll get your topper sheet like we've got here. So you can see we have, there's like a little gold area. So if it was due to be foiled in gold, that's where the gold would be. And then the gold would be round the outer edge and then it would be cut as well. With this, uh, this is why I like USBs because if you don't want to use um, foil or you don't want to have anything that's gold or silver, you have got the option with this. You know, it's not pre-foiled. So you're just getting the images as we get them. So what I've done, I've cut out, this is the one of the cardstocks that goes with the steam train ride top sheet that I've got here. So what I've done is cut it in half and I'm going to use this half, not the whole half, I want to do a little bit of cutting from it. And then the other one um, is this like checkered one, a bit tartan at the bottom in the blue. So I'm going to use a piece of that as well. So remember you just cut it in half, you can keep your other bits. And then we've got an A5 card. So I am going to add a little bit of Miri. Um, so this is going to go onto um, my base card just like it would if you were doing it with a pre-foiled topper. So let's get the glue down to the bottom. It's, it is actually getting there. It's just on a go slow today. There we go. So a little bit of construction glue and this will hold the, the Miri. And then we'll do a little bit of matting and layering as well. So I've got the gold on here and then I have trimmed the... Um, piece with the tartan down. I'm going to have a nice big um, area of gold around the edge here. So let's just put the, um, what would be the printed cardstock on here. Okay, okay, like this. So we'll get that in place like that. And then what we're going to do is the other piece that I showed to you here um, has got the train on. It's got this panel along here. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to work, but I'm going to try it. Oh, what I wanted to do is I'm going to chop. This is going to look good. Well, I hope so. What I'm going to do is chop along there. And it's very vintage in this image. So um, 
with the kind of, looks like the Flying Scotsman actually. Uh, we'll cut along here. I'm not going to cut the whole thing out. What I'm going to do is cut along this line here. So we've got the, the little line going up there. So we're going to cut along the line like that. So we'll still get a little bit of the cardstock coming through from underneath. Um, and I'm hoping this is going to work. This was just kind of a, a thought. And we might need to trim. Oh, that looks really good. Um, actually, it doesn't look too bad, does it? Going right to the edge because we're still getting our tartan here. And we've got room yeah. for a topper. So let's put that on flat. And now look at the glue. It's um, it was not coming out. And now I think it's also the good thing about glowing. the USB is that um, you can mix and match things. So yes. if there's things from like different toppers that you think would look quite nicely with um, a different card blank from a different collection, you have sort of that, you have so many different options, like there's, there's 400 sheets in each of these, so you have yeah. the option to print out whatever you want and put different things together, which sometimes you don't have that ability when you buy, you know, exactly. the collections. These are useful as well for if you do classes, uh, and I know I used to use mine for classes, um, these are great because you know that you're going to get like, uh, you know, lots and lots of options to chop things out a multitude of times. So if you've got 20 in your class next week, you can print 28, 20 out. If you've got five in your class next week, you can print five out. Um, you know, if you want to actually alter the settings on your printer and do them in grayscale, you could do that. There's lots of options and you're never stuck for um, different ways of using them. Definitely you know, not. Really, really useful. And you know, you can, if you're selling your projects as well um, and you need to make 10 the same, you know, if you want to have like a, or if you have a shop and you sell them in your shop, you say, you know what, I need to, that steam train card went really well, so I'm going to print it out 10 times, make it 10 times over, and then I've got a stock of that. You know, and then you've got people say, oh, do you remember you did a card for me? Um, and it had like a 50th um, birthday on it and it had a train on. Could you do me another of those for, you know, my son is 13, he's train obsessed. And you go, yeah, of course I can. You know, it was, it was on my USB, so you just go straight back to it. And a lot of our kits um, that are on the USBs as well are great. It means that you can actually double up what you've got um you know if you've got a bit of your kit left but you've no toppers then you can actually go oh you know what i've got it on usb now i can actually print it out yeah, and you can use it as many times yeah, as, you, as you want definitely to. so it's kind of going to bulk up your your kit so what i'm going to do now cut a little bit of this tartan here and i'm going to trim this bit off right at the end i just want to look before i actually pop this on I want to do another little strip of tartan. So I want to kind of bring it down the edge here so we're still Ooh, bringing like the, the green back into it. So if I chop along that line there, I think that will work. It's looking good. Like that. And again, remember, this is something that we've just planned as we, we came in. We didn't know what was, was going on today with the day. We, we had a plan um, and it changes, you know, so we have just adapted to the changes and we've gone, okay, let's do that. So. So that's why I'm doing a lot of cutting actually in the show. You know me, I like to have everything prepped usually. Um, but today, we've got a, done a little bit less prep. Look, let's get some pads on here now. So we're going to lift our um, train up. And I like the way we've got the vintage train in the corner in the brown. And then we've added the um, coloured train, which again just brings in these lovely colours that are on the background cardstock as well. Um, okay. Don't forget as well, on here we also have all your inserts too. So you know you can use your, um, you can you know, use the inserts, you can print them out, you can print them onto parchment. We have printable parchment as well. Um, and honestly, these print out beautifully on parchment. Um, I did some holly and poinsettias i think from one of our usbs and they were beautiful on the parchment okay so let's just oh look at this it's going to be perfect let's just pop that on there this is our topper um with the sentiment on 
So um, we're going to stick this onto a bit of mirror, chop it down. This will go on here. I think we'll grab a few of our um, gems as well, just to kind of bring that in. Okay, let's chop this. And then... <laughs> And you know what, the other thing as well with the USBs, they're really easy to use. Now, I am rubbish and I am on a computer and I am well known in this building for being absolutely rubbish on computer. Everyone else sits computing all day. I do have to um, say that you, yeah. I am not very good, am I? I can not, shop, I can do not, internet shopping and not, email. Not, you, you just... I'm not yeah. drastic, but I'm I think not great. Because, I think mainly we have changed things quite a bit with the different softwares that we use and having to work from home now that changes everything because everything's now on a, uh, a an accessible thing that where we can access it from in the office and at yes, home and at so home. that changes everything so yeah I think it is a little bit difficult well it was difficult anyway for me never mind whether it don't matter where I am I could be sat on in NASA and it would be difficult for me yeah Natalie it's not you know this is looking really good though. I like all the layers and the different um, sort of textures you've got in here. Well, yeah, and I think what we'll do rather than putting, I was going to put gold gems on, but I think what we'll do, we'll bring out a bit of the green, a bit of the blue and a bit of the red by using our amazing yeah. um, pearls. So let's go with three of our whoppers. In fact, I think I'll put the blue in the middle there. This is almost, look at this, this is almost like a traffic light um, section. Traffic isn't light it? cone. Yeah. I know you don't have a blue light, but. Let's do that there, and then we will do the smaller ones at the bottom. So we'll have a red here, and we'll have a blue in the middle, just to replicate what we've done at the top there, and then a, a green one here. Um, and I think I'm just going to leave that as it is. I kind of don't want to make it any more. Well, there's not that much room, is there, to make it any more busy? It is um, very good, though. But again, you can create that just by printing out. All we've done is selected what we wanted, printing it out, and then we have um, put it all together just to give you something like that. I kind of like that train at the top. It looks like a photograph now, doesn't it? It does. Rather than it being a, it a just a printed and you um, could, topper. You could do this with your images. Yeah. Um, the, if you know if you're a train spotter, you take images of trains. <gasps> Definitely. Or you can make like a little journal, a journal of all the ones that you've got and you could print out that that train picture for the background as many times as you want to. Of course you to. could. Definitely. Yeah, that'd be really nice. Yeah, oh. fabulous. Okay, so next up is USB key 7. Um, so key 7 is um, a lovely blue colour. Um, so they all look the same apart from one of them that we're going to show you today um, and included in this one because we like to give you a little free gift in all of them so in this one we have um, this little notepad um, and pencil which is uh, made from recycled cd cases uh, uh, that so that's a nice thing to use but these when they came out we use them all the time we, yes absolutely do all the time for writing yeah. things we needed to do for little ideas we had for um the different collections we were working on at the time so this is really handy to have in your craft um craft room but the things that are featured in this one are the um bare necessities birds of britain boutique chic um i love that one butterfly bouquet floral breeze we've got gentleman's journey which has more of those really nice male themes on there we've got milestones special moments and it says and so much more um emily have we got some images using this one this is the usb 7. oh this is exciting isn't it let's have a look at what we can show you on this one. Oh no see we put too much pressure on her at the beginning it's having a it's having a minute yeah, it's fine. Let's have a minute. We can change in one minute. In one minute? One whole minute. Okay. Oh, that's okay. We can we can talk through we that can time, wait. can't we? But yeah, there's, there's a quite a lot of things on here. I think the boutique chic's really nice. It's quite contemporary mm -hmm. in style. Um, and then the Gentleman's Journey has some of the more vintage um, gentleman's things. So I think it, that's the ones with um, the little sports match cards. Yes. Um, it's also got some good concept cards in here. And we must say that every single one of these has concept cards included too, mm. and all with full instructions. So if you want to make more fun stuff, you can do that. 
Oh, oh, so here we go. Cute. And um, that vintage male theme, like we talked about before, from The Gentleman's Journey. And then I think that is with Bare Necessities, which has the very cute little um, bears on there. But you can see these cards are really good and they might not have foiling as such as you would get in your, um, in your topper sets that we sell. But you can just add gold foil, you can add gilding flakes to them. If you have um, the We Are Memory Keepers foiling pen as well, you can probably add your own accent foilings to those toppers. So there are, there's so much room for, um, so much opportunity for loads of different things um, mm -hmm. that we can do there. Um, then I'm going to show you um, key number nine. So this one actually came with a calendar. Now the calendar is obviously dated for uh, 2019. However, I just wanted to flick through it because each one actually has um, a really nice image for each month. So I think what I would do here personally is I would just chop off here away and then add a tab to it, Yeah. to each page. So you're making your own little calendar. Yeah. You could use this for a desk calendar if you wanted to, um, but just updating those months so that they all coordinate with 20, um, 2021, which mm. we will be going into. Yeah, you so you can, you can definitely use them or just use the images um, to make nice cards with as well. Yeah. So in this one, Oh, there's some good stuff in this one too. Let's open this up. What color have we got? So this one is a black key for number nine. Um, so you've got your black USB key in there. You can see some of the really nice um, cards that we have on the front and sort of the imagery of the artwork used in there. So with this one, you get confetti burst, floral shimmer, flutter by rainbow, which is really beautiful. Um, bright colorful butterflies it's really stunning we were looking at that on friday you've got the garden geishas which has um the beautiful geisha girls on there primrose lane so chic um supermen um so it has your father's day all sorted there mm -hmm. male theme cards you've got them on this and wonderful women as well and um, we've got some card images from this one too to show you and um, these are both from the primrose lane collection but you can see um, how beautiful it is and the artwork's really quite stylized, isn't yeah. it? Like sketchy. Yeah. Um, great nice. for sort of like retirement or um, new home. That that collection is very, very lovely. So that is on USB key nine. And then the last one we have to show you before we get to another demo is the Hunky Dory at Home Special Edition. So this one um, is quite exciting. So this one is our twilight edition. So the USB is different in this one because it's designed um, very differently. So it is in the shape of a little haunted house. I have to get this out to show you because it's, it's just amazing, cute, isn't it? it? So you have your little USB here, which pops off and then that bit goes inside your computer. So it's got on the back, Hunky Dory Twilight Kingdom. I just think it's the best thing. I love USBs that are all funky like this. Mm. And then in this one, you have quite a lot of the Twilight collections. So we've got Twilight Kingdom, um, Twilight Kingdom Sunset, Twilight Forest, Twilight Under the Sea. So you've got all the concept cards that you get there that make those wonderful um, acetate cards. You can get some printable acetate to make those up. Um, we've got Magical Christmas. So if you loved our Twilight, um, Christmas collection, you can get that as what well. you get that on here. Um, and finally, our Once Upon a Twilight, which had the amazing um, fairy tale um, images on there. It was, it, it's just so magical. The whole Twilight collection is really magical. So to be able to have that all inside a USB that you can use at your disposal to make hundreds of cards with um, is just, it's quite incredible actually. And for the price of $9.99, which is less than half price for that one. Um, so bear that in mind that you get all of that on there. And um, there's just, there's loads to, to be doing in here. And that's just some of, um, some of the things that we've spoken to, um, to you about are on these because there's loads more that you'll be able to find and just be like, oh, I didn't realize that was on there. Mm -hmm. um, so there's loads that you can see. Um, let's have a look at another demo and then we'll go through all of the principles that you can buy from us um, that are that work perfectly the great gsms um, that we use here so you're going to be able to get the same sort of quality at home um, but let's have a look what sheila's going to do next 
Okay, so we, um, we've gone back to um, the first USB um, just because um, when we came in, we were printing, we needed to get all the keys and we, there were so many and so much choice that we just said, okay, let's just demo from the first um, USB, that's the purple one, the one that we just did the train from. So on that same USB, um, there are some colouring sheets and I thought this would be really nice because look at this, images, we've just, all we've done was just clicked on print, put some of our fabulous top weight cardstock through the printer and it's printed out these lovely images. So I thought what we'd do, we'd just do a little bit of colouring. I'm going to use my watercolour pencils on this um, and I'm going to use this really kind of nice image at the top here and then I'm going to add a little bit of cardstock um, that's also come from that USB. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to, I'm going to use my um, pencil. I'm just going to use this lovely kind of beige colour to create a nice um, kind of almost like a, a wicker or like a pine cage. My sister used to have um, these tiny little birds. I can't remember what, what they were. I think they were little finches of some kind. Um, and they were so, so chirpy and noisy. And she had like, a, because they were tiny, she had a, like them in a wicker cage, which was so, so lovely. Um, oh, I can't remember what they were called, but they were like, everybody seemed to have them in the um, like 80s, I want to say, late 80s maybe. Um, but they were tiny. Yeah, they were just, mm. they were tiny little finches. They were so cute and they just used to go beep, 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 like that all the time. Um, so I thought, let's um, do a little wicker cage like she had. Um, and then we'll add a little bit of green. Um, we've got lots of leaves on here as well. And again, this um, top weight cardstock is beautiful. It will take your pens, it will take your pencils. Um, so I'm just going in with pencils. I'm not even, I don't think I'm even going to use them as watercolours. I think I'm just going to colour with pencils um, rather than blending them. We've got lots of detail in here so if your pencils are nice and sharp then um, it will work just to do all this little detail that we've got here. Um, so Sue said was it a zebra finch? A zebra finch! Um, actually I think it might have been. I think they might have been zebra finches. Yeah I think she's right. They were really lovely, they were tiny little birds and they just made this lovely little chirpy noise all the time. They were so, so cute. Isn't it amazing that you get all of this inside that USB though? Because it's not just topic collections that you get in there. There's lots of other different artworks like these colouring pages, um, yeah. like the concept cards that you can make which are, are totally different and you have the ability to, like we've said, to make as many as you want to. Definitely, definitely. I um, I just love them. I think they're really. Oh, this is lovely colouring onto here. You know, <laughs> this is really nice. You, um, it's very smooth. Let's just do those tiny dots as well. Actually, they just need a little blob of pencil in the end there, like that. And then we're going to do. Um, let's do the little red. Pencil on the flower and a bit of green there, and then we're going to bring in another colour. I think I'm going to bring in some. I think we're going to bring in some like a. I think let's bring some yellow in for these other flowers, just to bright, make them nice and bright. Got some yellow roses there, and some little like yellow daisies. We've got a little butterfly that we need to colour as well, and then we're going to do our little bird. Let's pop that one back. We'll do a nice little, let's do an orange butterfly so it's nice and spring-like. There we go. And then we're going to do, um, we've got some more flowers here. Let's just colour that. And then we're going to do a little bit of um, this nice brown colour on our bird. We'll just do a little bit there like that. A little bit on its tail. A little bit on the end of its wings. Like this, and then we can add a bit more um, with a different brown. This is like a ready brown, so let's add some darker brown on here just to make it look more bird like. 
and then we can probably we'll add another brown here and then we can probably blend that out. let's go with this really darker one here tina has commented um she said that she ordered the pencils on friday and she paid for next day delivery um, but she's still waiting for her order she, um tina just to let you know that when you order on a friday um it's the next working day so they should come to you by the end of the day today but if they don't arrive um let us know um, because they will have come by courier so we'll, we can have a look into that for you but um, they should arrive today because it will be the next working day um, so it, you ordered them Friday so they should be with you um, today um, but they are very very busy aren't they at the moment yeah. all of our delivery services with everyone making their orders um, like for Christmas and things as well yeah yeah very very busy yeah I ordered some um, printer inks on the 19th and they still haven't arrived. I don't know where they are. They might have gone off somewhere else maybe, but yeah, I've not got those yet. Um, so let's just pop this to one side and then we're gonna do grab my cutter. I'm just gonna cut this down a little bit into a square. Um, so what we'll do, let's just get that right up there and then we will go up here. And then I will, right, so let me just look at the size of this now. So if um, we are on, well, it's just under four and a quarter inches. So let's see if we can chop a bit more off the bottom and the top just to make that into a square. Just under. It looks really good. It's really quite cute, isn't it? Yeah. Let's just do a little just bit Just the little more. bits of colour, it just really brings it to life yeah it's a very lovely image i think all the images on that sheet though are, are lovely you could use them for yeah. so many different occasions they're really quite sweet and then let's do a little black edge around it so we're going to cut that to um that's just over four and a quarter so let's just do it to just under four and a half let's try that there we go so that when we put it on the black it just makes it a little bit more um punchy and I think I'll just do my double-sided tape on here because I know Stacey my... said what um paper did you use to print it on you printed it on our topper weight didn't you I did so our printable crafting card topper weight you'll be able to find these on our website and we're going to run through them just shortly yeah. um, but this one is 200 gsm so it's a lightweight um cardstock and it's really great for printing all your toppers on um because it's not too heavy compared to the cardstock weight um, but like Sheila said, it's great for colouring in on as well. You've got, you can see there how um, well it's coloured onto that, that image. Definitely. Now then, I'm going to see if I can. Yes, what I want to do is just pop it on. I printed out this wood effect card and I really like that. So I think what I'm going to do is cut that down um, to, let me just pop it under my trimmer. And we've got a six by six card here. So I'm going to put it. I'm going to cut it to about five and a half by five and a half and let's just try that on there yep and then what we'll do we'll lay this onto a bit of black as well I'll do it quickly and then we can um, stick this onto the card and we'll add a couple of little gems in the corner so again it's really really quite quick to do um you know lots of people love just a plain stamped image on a card don't they mm, yeah you know and something like this you could use as um, a picture in a frame so it doesn't have to be um it doesn't have to be a card and again that's another good thing the usbs because they don't you know they're not aimed specifically at card makers it basically it's just a load of artwork on there and you can do with it as you please you know the all the cardstock and stuff is is beautiful and again you might just want to use that as a as a background for something that you're making at home um you know whether it's home decor whether it's a, a scrapbook or a journal or something like that you can uh, you can use it for all those those things a good thing as well you can print it out, you know, you, you print it out onto your 
um, just some of your regular cardstock. You know, you might want to just print some out and let your children have them, you know, and use them. And it doesn't have to be your most expensive stuff. You keep that for yourself, obviously. Um, I just uh, think they're really good. And you know, like I said, I'm not very good on computers, but I can do these. You'll know that because you remember I did some of these on Crate and Craft yeah. and I had the computer in front of me and I managed, um, you know, and, I, and it wasn't without fear that they I did are that. They very, very handy to use though. And yeah. with that contents page of what is included, you can um, scroll through there. It's all labeled with the names on. So then you can go to the appropriate files, find the name of the topper um, and you can print it off as simple as that. Yeah. Lots of people are asking if you can use them with our scan and, with the scan and cut machines. Um, we had actually oh. tried this. So uh, when Ruth was here, Ruth was a massive fan of the scan and cut, and um, she did take our USBs home um, to try them out. Unfortunately, the lines in our toppers aren't um, strong enough, I would say, um, for the scan and cut to actually pick them out um, and cut them out. So mm -hmm. I don't think we had much luck. Um, with using them on our scan and cut, but they are great for just printing out um, and being able to make some quick cards with. I love that, Sheila. Well, I like that you've coordinated cardstock from something else as well. Yeah, that's just on the on the disc as well, you know. So you could, um, I mean, you could even do this as like a Christmas themed thing. You could do the, you know, print out Christmas paper. I think we've got, have we got some Christmas on one of them? Oh, have we not? We did do a Christmas one, I think, originally. Maybe we've not got that one left now. Um, but again, you could do some darker red. You could then add a bit of glitter. So you could still do something with it and change the season on it um, and tie it up to you. And this is the beauty and the freedom you get from the USBs. Okay, it is time for our Hunky Dory headlines. Good morning and welcome to the Hunky Dory headlines. My name is Natalie McFancy Pants. There is officially 25 days until Christmas and we will be celebrating in true hunky dory sky style here on hunky dory craft tv so set your reminders because we don't want you to miss out on a thing on hunky dory tv this week we're going to have four shows for you tomorrow for our technique tuesday who doesn't love a little bit of glitz and glamour sheila's going to be taking you through a master class using our fabulous glimmer mist um, it's going to be a messy one but it's not to be missed on Wednesday, the 2nd of December at 10 a.m., we start our 12 days of Christmas. It's Santa season, so join our crafty elves, Natalie and Dan, for the first 12 surprises in our 12 days of Christmas. Spectacular. And then on Friday, the 4th of December at 10 a.m., it's Thank Craft, it's Friday. Um, the sleigh is up and running and ready to deliver our third and fourth day of Christmas goodies. Tis the season to be crafty. Um, this just in, did you hear the rumour about butter? No. Well, I'm not going to spread it. Oh, <laughs> gosh. And in other news, corduroy pillows, um, corduroy pillows are making headlines. <laughs> it's a very good one. Very good one. Um, but now it is time for our thought of the week. A crafter day keeps all the madness away. <laughs> and that concludes our hunky dory headlines for this week i think that was actually the best thought of the week we've ever had um, and it's true nice the crafter day keeps the madness away so when you have all your usbs at home you're going to need something to print them on and we here at hunky dory have the best selection um, for you to buy so first of all we're going to look at the topper weight card stock um, wow this is pretty good so you get 50 sheets in here um, i think this is the this is the topper weight so this one is 200 gsm uh, but you get 50 sheets in here so this one is a little bit more thinner um, but then we have our principal crafting card this one is 50 sheets of 300 gsm so this one has um this one's great for making your card bases with because it's really quite strong um and printing on you're going to get some really nice floral images um our principal insert paper which we have on the screen there 
Um, this is um, really quite nice because it is more of a thicker paper, the type of paper that you do get with our inserts here at Hunky Dory. Um, this is 135 GSM and you get 50 sheets included in there. So even if you don't use this but with your USBs, if you use this for just printing on generally so you can make some really personalized cards, this is a great thing to have in your basket, especially when it is as cheap as it is. Um, it's 30% off, you can buy this for £3.49. And then last of all in our range, we have our parchment paper. Now I use this quite a bit. I use this here at Hunky Dory to print images on. Um, you may have seen, um, sometimes we make lanterns and we've got images printed on. This is what we print our stuff onto. Um, these all run through your regular printers. Um, we've used these at home, we've used these in the office. Um, this parchment's great um, to just use as parchment. But to be able to print onto this, um, create some really beautiful colours, some patterns, but have that really nice opaque feel is a really, really cool thing in crafting. Um, so again, all of these are £3.49 to get any of these that we've shown you today and they work alongside your USBs so, so well. So it's definitely something, if you're buying a USB, to add into the pack. But you can get them all for an incredible price of 11 99 So if you want absolutely everything here, so you have it all to hand and you can make your cards with it, £11.99 for our essential printable bundle. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. That is pretty cool indeed. Um, we're gonna do one last demo before we finish today because we wanted to show you just um, how crazy the things are in here and that it's not just printing out for card making, that you can make some really nice big things. So Sheila's gonna make one of our concept cards from the USB number one. I am, yes. So we've gone back to number one. Um, we didn't quite envisage just the amount of cutting that was um, no, quite- No, we were cutting away uh, like- we were like so create a crazy morning. pair of cutters just because we didn't have a lot of time um as you know we love fussy cutting here at hunky dory um but we must say with the concept cards all concept cards that are on any of the um usb keys do have the instructions as well so all you need to do is look on instructions it will say it's just printed instructions click on there it'll bring up all the instructions for anything that's on that usb um i will show you as you can see here actually if i drag it across i'm not going to tip it up because we've got some flowers that natalie has uh, cut out for us here that we're going to put onto our concept card so we've got um the floral rocker card on here and we've also got the flower basket card instructions so as you can see we've got hands on here showing how to build it up up and what bits to cut and how it is then assembled to give you a beautiful project so we have already got um three of our baskets cut out here so you're going to get two on a sheet and you're going to get two greetings tags we have a tag here which was cut from there and then we have a basket that was cut from that way um, so we've got one last basket to cut so let's just i've already started to cut um, I've cut a little bit round the flowers here with my knife. Now, as a lot of you know, I really don't like using a craft knife. Um, give me a pair of scissors any day. But for something like this, you do need to get out your craft knife and cut around there. So just take it easy, nice and slowly. We just need to go around the um, petals here and then around the petal here. I think I've already cut that. And then we're just going to go along the handle section here. Now you'll see you've got a black line. Um, now it's up to you exactly where you cut. You can cut on the line. You can cut like at either side of the line. It depends on the look you are after. So I am going around on the line. I'm not sure how neat that's going to be, but I'm sure it's fine. There we go. And that's popped out. So all we need to do now is I'm going to take my big scissors and I'm just going to go around the basket. Now on some of these um, images that are printed you will see anything that needs scoring is done with a red dotted line. So that means you can grab your scoreboard and you can actually then um, score along the lines but it will tell you that on your instructions as well. 
So let's just go around the flowers. Now I think this builds up like a four-way basket. It's almost like a four-sided basket. So um, let's cut around it and then we'll show you how to score it and how to put it together. This is really nice, Sheila. Carol Rooney says she loves this basket of flowers. She made it for a mum when she was in hospital about five years ago and she still has it on her dressing table. Oh my goodness, that's so lovely, isn't it? How nice is it? That's that so nice. Such a yeah. nice way of using it as well, because obviously a lot of things aren't allowed in hospitals at the moment. So it's a really nice way to make it and brighten someone's day. Definitely. It's, um, and I reckon as well that this would fold flat and go into an envelope. I can't um, totally confirm that until I've actually made it, but I have a feeling that it would go flat because it's four pieces. There's also on the um, on the USBs as well, there are some top tips. Um, we were reading one of the top tips for this, weren't we, Natalie? Yes. Um, and it says for this one, make an extra large basket by fixing eight segments together rather than four. I mean, I guess you could just sit and print as till, you could print you as know, many as you want and absolutely. make it super, super big. Definitely. So, let's just reach down and grab our scoreboard now. I'm going to bring this up and we are going to just score along the lines here. So, um, I'm going to put it on the six line and I'm just going to score down there. And then, again, as usual, if you've got a longer um, item to score, put your um, actual scoring tool into the line, line it up with six, and then we, we know then that we're gonna do a nice neat score line down the middle like that. Okay, so, and then we can just fold that, and then we need to do that with all four of the baskets. Okay, so let's go down there like that in the six line, so that then I can make sure that's all nicely lined up down there and again with that one and then our third one I love doing this I love scoring um, I just do I always have enjoyed scoring even before I had a scoreboard and I used to do it like a, a ruler and an embossing tool um, and then obviously once the scoreboard came along life became much easier um, there we go so six and then down the six line, and that's all our four scores done. Um, now you know what, I'm doing this and I haven't even read the instructions, so for all we know, I could have just done that totally wrong. <laughs> but I don't think we have, no, I, don't I think, think we we're have. right. And then we can start to put them together. Okay, so what we need to do, let's see what it says. Remove the tape and match up the back of one side with that of another. Yeah, because some of the sides, and I noticed this when I was cutting them out, yes. are the other way The round. other way round. So you're gonna have two this way. Okay, let me lay them down, then you can see. So you can see here, you've got the daisy on this side, and then the other two are reversed. But so that you just can means see that you can stick them back to back easier. Yes. Yes. So if we let's show you if we do it wrong. If we take two of the same ones and put them together like this, you're going to have white showing. And this is not how it's meant to be. So what we do is we put them together like that and then you have no white showing. Oh, it looks so good. All right. So let's do that. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually open my um new glue because and let's just do this live. We advise that you put your uh, pokey tool in there to make a to make the hole. Um, and there we go. And then you can pull this away like that, all the way around. A bit like when you open a carton of milk, so that then that will go on top after. And I think that's just going to make it a little bit quicker because my glue is right at the top. Then, so let's start to build these up like this. Um, all right, and construction glue is the best thing to do it with. So let me make sure that we are doing it with the right side, which is this one. Okay. Um, so let's do that one like that. And then we can do again oh, this Oh, that's one. a good way of doing it. Yeah, once you've started to... I would have done it. I would have stuck the two sides together and then tried to awkwardly stick the other ones to the other ones. But doing it this way is a lot more easier. 
yeah definitely you just have to make sure you've got the right one which is that one like that okay pop that one into place like that but you can do it whichever way mm -hmm. you are comfortable with it's amazing how um people just have different ways of doing things and that's what makes us all individual when it comes to crafting putting things together i've got that one like that and then our last little edge here um we can put together like that press that down <laughs> oh, it looks so good look at how cute that is now we've got a little um four-sided basket of flowers how cute is this and then we have and natalie has cut all these pieces out for us and laid them up in their pairs so this is going to um, make life so much easier for us so all we need to do now is find the let's find the way it goes so that's that one on there and then we've got another identical one, which I'm guessing is going to go on the opposite, on the side. opposite side. How easy is it um, to put together? Actually, it's that way, isn't it? No, it's not. Where am I going? Let me have a look. It's that. It's that way. That that way. There we go. Okay. And then we've got some um, bigger ones. So let's put these. These are going to go on here as well. So let's make sure this is the right way. This we needs to go on this one here, I think. Yep, and there we go. So this one must go on the other side. Now you're probably wondering why on earth it's like this. And that's because, um, actually, I could be wrong here. I think maybe you could put them wherever you want. I to. think you could, you know. Actually, yeah, you can. You can do them wherever you want. So let's do that because that's a better way for me. I like that. Okay, so this one we will put on this side here, I think. There. I like how you've just got the little bits of decoupage though going on every single side. So it's just going to add a little bit more dimension to your make. But I love this and yeah, I definitely. like the idea um, see which one of this giving this as, this as a gift because it is going to last forever. It's my worst. So I used to hate flowers. Did you? I absolutely used to hate flowers. And I remember, I remember when I graduated, um, my dad was across in America. Um, yes. Teaching, uh, doing like a football, well, it's football here, but it's soccer there. Yes. Um, like football schools over summer, like at summer camps. Yes. Um, and he said he was getting me something. He said, my mum's driving across tomorrow. Um, he, she got me something, so he, she, uh, she drove across with my present for my graduation. Really? And I said then when I was on the phone how much I hated flowers because they were pointless because they just die. Oh. And then his mum turned up the next day with a bunch of flowers and um, my necklace, which I still wear um, today every day. Um, but I just felt my heart drop, Sheila, because I was like, oh my God, I said that I hate flowers and now I have flowers. <laughs> ah. I, was like, I felt awful but i've come to like flowers now but this, you do like flowers don't you now this means that you don't have to throw them away not because they're going to last forever exactly um, and you can add more panels here so you can make it as big as you want to you can have it on the mantelpiece you can make more than one of these of course you can um, but yeah it's flowers that it's are going to last forever side there it's, it's really quite nice. Um, and you can spray nice. it as well. You could spray it with perfume. I was just going to say exactly really, the same really thing. Lovely. I was going to say you could make it so that it smells really nice just by a little squirt of your, your perfume or even like your... If it's your your mum or whoever's in hospital and you, you know, you... And this one goes on the other side, I think. Let me check. I just want to make sure it's the right floor in the right place. So you might have to take a bit of time. But yeah, you could... If your mum's in hospital or something and she can't wear her... Um, favorite perfume then you could spray it with her per favorite perfume couldn't you and go there you go it just you know you can smell your own perfume on there um, which would be quite nice let's do this one goes on here I think yes it does this one will go and then we've just got a couple more to pop on 
on this one, I think. Yes, there. I love how this is coming together. It's very cute, isn't it? It's very lovely. And then we've just got a couple of little lacy ones here as well, I think, which go, uh, let's find my, let's have a look at where, which one we need to build up more, this one. So we're gonna pop that one there, just find the little yellow bud on there. And then this one, oh, I've missed two more out here. Let's grab these while we've got the, um, so many, but like you've said, Natalie, you know, you could just keep printing these out and out really again, good. couldn't you? And you could print um, more of the flowers oh. out and then do decoupage. You could cut out the bigger flowers and then layer them up. Definitely. Let's pop that one on there. So we've got double flowers on this side and then we've got one more, which we're going to pop on here. It looks very, very cute. It's very, it is, isn't it? It's really nice. I've quite enjoyed just sitting, um, making it actually. That one goes on the other side, I think. Yeah, this one. So do um, just whiz them round and have a look at where they are meant to go. And then we've got our little um, uh, tag here that we had at first. So I'm going to see if I've got, there we go, I've got my screw hole punch, which I'm going to put through there. Okay, now then, let's just do our little, let's bend this into shape a little bit more now because obviously we want it to be like quite dimensional like that okay and then we've got our little tag and then we've got as well should we tie this around the top do you reckon let's tie this around the top like this and then we'll do a nice little bow at the top again this is you, you can't use your bow maker for this really um, if you were wanting to put this in an envelope flat it will go in an envelope flat I think I would be carrying this in though if I was taking it to hospital. I mean, we can't even visit at the moment, but hopefully by the time we get around to next spring, if we have people in hospital we need to go and see, this would be something you could be printing and taking in. And then we've got, let's put our little tag on with a little piece. Let's get a thin piece of ribbon for this. And um, we've got some thin pink in here. I can see it right there at the bottom. So let's grab little piece of this and we can tie this on to the card handle as well there we go let's grab a little bit of this and we can pop this on this side here so that says to somebody special and we tie that on it's really cute isn't it I like this let's just pop that there like that and we'll tie it it just hangs. Oh, I like it. I've, quite, I've actually it's quite so enjoyed cute. making this. It's very cute. Snip those little ends off there. And then you see there that we have our little basket with our little tag on there. I love how it's all laid it's up cute, as well. Isn't it? It's really, really nice. It, it is. is. But again, you could put it flat, like it will go flat, even with that big bow on top to go in, a, in an A5, probably an A5 envelope, I would think. So. Um, but again, it's really, really nice and it's something you can build upon. You could glitter your flowers. Yeah. Um, you know, you could um, put some gems on there. You could print out another layer of, of the flowers and really, really build it up and go to town on it. But it is quite cute. And again, that's on the first USB and you've got your instruction sheet as well. So there's no way you can go wrong. It's so good. I like how all the demos have been different today. They've all, you've all been able to see the different things that you can make with your USBs, um, which is really lovely. Um, so I'm going to go through the Win It Weekly competition one more time before we leave today. So it's the Just A Note collection. There's going to be five winners announced this Friday. Um, you need to like, share and comment on this video with you hold the key to my what? Is it A, house, um, B, car or C, heart? So you get your comments in. Um, you can comment on the video, you can comment online, but you will be in the chance of winning um, the fantastic Just A Note collection. We have a show coming up on Create and Craft this afternoon at 3 p.m. with Pauline. And um, we've got some fantastic premiere craft tool deals on our Cyber Monday sales show with, with Pauline. So don't miss that out. Three o'clock today on Create and Craft. We're going to add the Shimmer Gemstones, the full bundle of eight colours to our rollover box. Um, I know that's getting very busy, so um, it's going to be great if someone wins that soon. Um, and then our next Facebook Live show is tomorrow um, for our Technique Tuesday with Sheila and our fantastic 
Glimmer Mist. So um, we will see you then. Thank you very much for joining us today. Um, it's been a great show. Um, I hope you enjoy the USBs. If you want to get them, grab them because I think the offer ends this evening. Um, so go online to hunkydorycrafts.co.uk to get yours um, today. Um, but it's a goodbye from me, a goodbye from Emily, Bye. a goodbye from Sheila. Goodbye. And we will see you again tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.